Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'll be doing your February Tarot Reading for 2024. Well, we'll be looking at career, money, and love. So let's have a look at what is the big energy first. This is the Light to See Us Tarot. And also later, I will be using the Tarot of Owls. If you do wish to purchase um, your own deck, that's down below in the description box. So Sagittarius, first... Let's start with the big energy for February 2024. For those who are new, welcome. My name is Gigi. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because every week you get two readings, one from myself and the other one from Fifi. So one card, please, for the energy for Sagittarius. So we do have the Queen of Swords. The big energy here is communication. Communication, speaking with confidence, speak before, uh, sorry, think before you speak. And also it, it's all, you got to think about the, the Queen of Swords. She's very confident, always shows like a stoic appearance, but it is the card of mental clarity. Like having that mental clarity, that mental strong mindset and communication here. It's also about not bringing so much emotions to the table. Kind of like think with your head, think strategically here. It's going to be, for some reason, it will be very important for the month of February. But let's find out. Why is it so important here? Because why do I say don't think so much with emotions, think more with your head? As you can see the card here, her heart, she's pulled out of her heart and she's placed it in a cage here because she wants to think very clearly with her head here. So this is going to be very, very important, especially for February. Communication, speaking with confidence, speak, uh, also thinking strategically also. Let's have a look at these cards, please. What, we, what do we need to know for Korea, please? So let's pick out three cards for Korea. Oopsie. In the current situation, we do have the Ace. We have the Ace of Wands. This is fantastic. New cycle, a new beginning. This is also reminding you, Sagittarius, your spirit team, especially your spirit team, they want to remind you, hey, Sagittarius, you always have the courage, the package, the confidence to go after whatever it is that you desire, especially for career. And I do feel that for some of you, there's something that you've always wanted to do, but you couldn't because perhaps of certain commitments or situations, perhaps, um, you know, you, you were tied to a job or you weren't able to study, whatever it is. They're saying here that you can still do whatever it is that you want. There are ways. We need to think outside the box. We need to weigh out our options, our choices, because you can do literally anything with this, anything. So what is it that you need to know, please? Ooh, interesting. So we have the minor arcana of the chariot, the eight of wands. There's going to be really fast communication coming towards you, Sagittarius. Now, these communications can come from crossing states because we are crossing mountains here. So it could come from another state, not necessarily. It can be somewhere that's a bit far from where you live. But there is really good news coming your way. I love the eight of wands and the wands are going to represent that ignitement, that passion, that excitement very fast. So do check your emails, check your junk, your spam. You don't want to miss on an, an opportunity. Definitely. You don't want to miss whatever. Well, let's see what is coming towards you. What is the outcome? Wow. Sagittarius. So we do have the star. The star represents Aquarius season. We are currently in Aquarius season, it does roll over to February. So I do feel you're going to be receiving fantastic news in February. It's like, think about this. The star represents represents wishes coming true. There's something you've been working on, something that you've desired, that you wish you really, really want. And I feel you're going to have really, really good news coming your way. So 
you can still pause this video, Sagittarius, and make a wish from your heart and see it in your mind's eye, see it, hear it, and feel it. Get a really good, clear mental picture in your mind because there's really good news coming your way. Whatever it is that you, you've been working on for ages, it's going to pay off. Someone's communicating with you. And literally think about the star. You're literally, for some, only for some, it's like being in the spotlight. So this is also an excellent card for people working in the entertainment industry. If you are a writer, for example, director, singer, dancer, um, even a, uh, if you have a very large presence online because the star represents a spotlight, you know, people, you're reaching a very global audience if you, if you are in that field. Overall, fantastic career cards. Let's look at money, please. What is the situation? So we have debt. Oops. We do have debt, major arcana. So there's been an ending of a situation in terms of money. This could be, for example, if you've been experiencing trouble with money or there's been unexpected expenses, for example, or there's been a loss of money. You have to remember when we do see debt, it's not an actual death, please. The death is impartial. It doesn't care who was right, who was wrong. The only thing that death wants you to know is learn your lesson and move on. Death wants a cycle to end for a new cycle to begin. So if there has been struggles, if there has been setbacks with money, this is the end. No more. So what is it that you need to know? Well, in order to be a magician, we need to be original. We need to think very outside the box. So you have the magician. This is a Gemini and Virgo energy. So you have power, Sagittarius, to manifest anything. You literally have gold in your hands. You have all the resources, everything at your disposal to do literally anything. So you can create anything with your money. So when I say create anything with your money, have you ever wanted to, for example, invest or to make somehow money work for you or buy a property, whatever it is, you have the magic, you have the strength to do this. But what's the outcome? Oh my God, I just said strength and now the strength came out. Excellent, Leo energy. You've got the strength card. The outcome is going to be good. But it will require your strength. Why? Because sometimes it's very easy to listen to our fears, our negative self-talk. What the owl is doing, the owl is not controlling the lion. The owl is taming the lion. So we need to tame our emotions, our fears, or it can be very easy for us to say, oh my God, nothing's working now. Everything's going to go bad. No, 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 no. You've got to keep doing. You've got to really, this is going to take a lot of willpower and a lot of perseverance to really believe in yourself to find ways to work with your money because your money is going to work for you, definitely. There is no loss of money, but it does require that strength, that courage, and you will have it, absolutely. Strength also shows a return of health. If you haven't been well lately, if you've been a little bit stressed, that's going to pass. You're going to be able to lower your shoulders down. This is all fantastic. So it's not hard to notice too. Sagittarius, you have three major arcanas when it comes to money. It does also mean that your spiriting is working in the background to make everything work for you. You've got to have that vision though. You've got to see it in your mind and communicate it to the universe, just like the star, like getting your wishes granted. And you're putting in the work, absolutely. Whatever you're doing, you're putting in the work, it's going to pay off. So let's look at love now. What is the current situation? Mm, okay, so we do have the five of cups. There's been disappointment. Yeah, there could have been, for example, an ending. It's like there's sadness, there's embarrassment. What I'm also seeing here that Sagittarius, you put in a lot of work into this relationship. Like you put like an 110%, but you still so disappointed. You were still disappointed and you still have two cups standing here. There's still happiness for you somewhere else it could be with this person depending what the cards come up but remember Sagittarius you deserve happiness you deserve to be happy you deserve to be full of life not like this no when our energy is low no not good 
if we have any if we have low energy we're not attracting anything we're not manifesting anything no we need to we need to change this so what is it that you need to know what happened oh okay so we do have the seven of swords so someone was going behind your back because the seven of swords it is the card of lying stealing cheating yes there could have been a secret affair or this person could have said to you for example this is just an example I'm going to make up. Like something like, what are you doing tonight? I'm not doing anything, but they're going out partying with their friends, as an example. They're not being honest. They're not being very truthful. So there's a lot of white lies. Why is this person sneaking out during the night, going behind the shadows? It, it, no. So there's a lot of dishonesty. You actually don't know who this person really is. They say one thing, as soon as you turn around, they're doing the complete opposite. They are not who they say they are. So what is the outcome with this? What's going to happen? Interesting. So we do have judgment. I feel like you may have broken up with this person, but this person's coming back. Judgment is the card of resurrection. As you can see, the birds here, um, the illustration is showing that they have died, but they've resurrected to life now. They're alive again. So this actually means that, yes, someone from your past will resurrect, but you see, this is Gabrielle's trumpet you will be making a judgment call. So you're going to be judging this person, what they are saying. It's like, think about this. You're going to be in a position of power here where you're judging this person. It's like you're in a courthouse. You are the judge, the juror, and the prosecutor. You're judging what are they saying, their behavior. Because I feel like this person is going to come with a lot of promises, a lot of, I'm going to change. Let's get back together. Let's give this a chance. I'm going to pull out one card. So this one, Sagittarius, it could be a reason why you also have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, she doesn't want to think with her heart. She wants to think with her head here. And no, there's definitely no emotions here because as you can see, she's looking forward and she's got like more like a judging face saying, hmm, I will allow you to speak. So this is what's happening here. So let's have a look. Let's get what are, what are you going to do with this person, please? okay so we do have death here death has come out twice now so death major arcana what i feel might happen here you're you're probably going to end things sagittarius because most likely when we do see death it's like yeah oh wow so these two cards before i show you these two cards remember death doesn't care if you were right or if your person was wrong doesn't care Death does not take sides. Death just wants you to move on now because I can. I am picking up this person. It's not really that good. Now, these two cards have popped out. So we do have the Seven of Swords. This is this has come out twice here. And we also have the Nine of Swords. Now, we know this card. Lying, stealing, cheating, going behind your back, uh, just not saying the truth. There's a lot of lies here. And of course, we do have the moon now. The moon is showing that there is an increase of anxiety. There's an increase of fears. And this is causing you the nine of swords. It's causing you, I can't sleep. You're not sleeping here because um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's like an invisible bed behind this person that's crying. So I don't feel Sagittarius that this person is right for you. If anything, they're causing... I don't like seeing the Nine of Swords, to be honest. I don't want to see the Nine of Swords. And I feel like if you continue with this person, yeah, it's going to end up more with panic, like panic at night, sadness, crying, regret. Yeah, painful end. No. So Sagittarius, you can do better, I'm going to say. Even though this person may return back and probably show you a beautiful face, from these cards, they are not going to change their ways. They may improve for the first couple of weeks because we do have swords. May, perhaps. But at the end of the day, they will return to their old ways. So this is just giving you a heads up. But remember, because you do have the judgment card, you're going to be judging. You will decide at the end of the day what you think is best for you. That's all it is. So Sagittarius, fantastic reading though. You're going to have an amazing outcome with money and career. With love, though, 
you're going to decide what will be the actual outcome because you're judging this person's behavior. And the thing is, never compromise your values because I can see here, Sagittarius, you value honesty, you value loyalty. This person is not giving you that. Thank you, Sagittarius. I wish you a beautiful month. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.